Hey, how's it? This is the foundation continuing my top favorite cowboys of all time. So at number two, as you see the shirt, it's part of Doomsday. Doomsday 2. Ed Too Tall Jones. <laughs> I actually got a, I got to meet him in person. Man, I, <laughs> I was a little star, not gonna lie, I was a little starstruck and all that. Uh, because he was my first favorite player. You know, like when 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 I started watching the Cowboys, he was a guy that I was, I was all in, you know, in this this in awe of him, you know, and you know, was my favorite player. You know, he was my he was my favorite player, um, my first favorite player, and everything like that. And really quick, um, I just gotta say this because because you know, getting to him as well too, I gotta mention this. You know, guys like Chuck Howley, guys like um, you know, um, Drew Pearson, Harvey Martin. And Ed Tuttle Jones, you know, I know Darren Woodson and all that, but Ed Tuttle Jones, they should be in the ring of honor. You know, I mean, I know, I know um, Chuck Howley is, but, but I, and, uh, but, but I think, you know, I think Drew Pearson and Drew Pearson, I think, yeah, Drew Pearson is in, is in as well. But I think, I think Harvey Martin and Ed Tuttle Jones should be in the ring of honor and all four of them should be in the Hall of Fame, you know, um, and speaking of and speaking of that kind of stuff too, you know, because I think sometimes the Cowboys and and the Pittsburgh Steelers a lot of times they get they get that that, that cold shoulder from the NFL Hall of Fame because because you know that's because so, there's so much name recognition there. I mean, you look at the you look at the the Super the second Super Bowl they played in, you you can go up and down the list of how many guys you can name, you know. I mean, you can go like a lit laundry list of. How many names you can remember and all that it's more harder probably to people that you don't remember rather than you do remember because that's how talented those two teams was and everything like that and you know like Ed Tuttle I mean like Ed Tuttle Jones you know like you know everybody talk about JJ Swat and you know JJ Watt JJ Swat if there was if there if they kept it as a stat from way back when you know I think other than the rushing record, I think that record would probably never be broken as well too, because the amount of amount of passes he batted, you know, I mean, it came with signature. I mean, you know, like you hear tons of of, of NFL quarterbacks saying, when Ed Tuttle Jones played, I hate throwing to the right side, because Ed was there, Tuttle was there, he he would bat all the ball, you know, he'll bat it all, you know, so. So you know, I you know like you know that's that's the thing, and, and that's the thing that I I truly truly like loved about his game as well too. Like um, you know, some of my favorite memories, you know, really quick, the the one hit that he gave on Joe Theismann in the I think the eighty three game, the second of the eighty three game. I mean, I thought I I was <laughs> I jumped, I was so happy because he just came from the side, he went wow. Like like a clothesline from hell, and it was just like, oh, I mean, made you kind of go, oh, yeah. He jumped off of you, off your seat because you know you, I hated the rescue so much, and I was like, yeah, take that, guys, when you you suck. <laughs> but um, but my favorite memory is you know like the nineteen eighty five game against the New York Giants. You know the 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 NFC East title was on the line, and you know you know in the later of the game, you know. He, you know, he tipped, he, he batted the ball. And Jeff Gold caught it out of midair, ran for the touchdown. And, you know, he won the game. And then, and then the, the, the next uh, couple of years later, uh, the 1987 season, he did it again to Phil Sims again. Batting there, Jeff Gold catches it, touchdown. I mean, you know, there, there there's a YouTube clip up there. He, in, in two plays in a row, he bat he batted the ball down. In two straight plays in a row, so you know. And then um, even with um, uh, uh, what his name? Even Danny Noonan got a touchdown <laughs> off of um, off of Ed Tuttle Jones' um, batted passes and all that. So you know that those are my those are my favorite memories of him. You know, and then probably the most iconic in, in, image of him that you just always picture, you know, like even though, you know, even though I, I, I just was born when that Super Bowl, 
you know, when when um when that Super Bowl happened. But when he gave that hit to Craig Morton, man, I mean that you know, like every time I you know, every time I see that highlight, I just go, man, I, I mean you felt so bad. <laughs> it's almost like you felt bad for for it. That would be so outlawed. He'd be probably suspended five, six games off of that hit alone if it wasn't that in today's NFL. I mean, not only did he whack, you know, he went head to head with him. You know, he wrapped him. He wrapped him, drove him to the ground with his weight on, you know, forcibly going to the ground. You know, that's like, you know, like what it was that when the coins jump out, you know, the old video games. That's a suspension game. Do, 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 one, two game, two, two game. And, <laughs> and all that. But yeah, I was, I was so happy when I met him. And I was, and I, and I, I remember, and he was so humble, you know, he was like, you know, I took a picture with him and he was so humble. He was, I told him, man, that was, that was my favorite play, you know, like, um, the game, the game and the game against the, the Giants, um, and all that. And he was just like, he, and he asked me, he was like, he goes, oh, where are you from? And I'm like, oh, I'm from Hawaii. And he was just like, wow, you, you came a fan, you're a fan of the Cowboys all the way from Hawaii? And I'm like, yeah. What year did you become a fan? And I was like, oh, 83. And he was just like, okay, so you wasn't there when we won the Super Bowls and all that. I go, no, you was my favorite player. I mean, and then that Monday night game, you know, that's how... I became, I became a fan, you know, I was telling him, like, after coming, you know, I know the defense wasn't, you know, the defense, you know, was a lot of points in that game, but, you know, but I just loved the game so much, and all that, and, you know, he was just like, man, that, that that's, that's sweet, and, he's like, and, he, and I was telling a couple stories, and, you know, my memories, and he was just like, wow, you have a pretty good memory, and all that, but, you know, and if anybody, you know, like, knows how to get those games you know like the uh the night especially like i i seen i seen i seen the 1985 one but um again you know uh, but 1987 is the one i would like to see again too that's because that's because of you know for him as well too you know about that yeah i just you know just add to Zal jones i mean <laughs> and man he swallowed my hand i mean he you know because i'm i'm a short guy and i you know i'm a short guy and 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 um, you know, I don't have big hands myself, but oh, he, his hand went up to, like, right here on my wrist. <laughs> so like, I was just like, oh. <laughs> but yeah, Ed Two Tall Jones. Yeah, my second favorite player of all time. All right, all right, that's my video. Mahalo for watching, Paniolo boys, and like always, go Cowboys.